Hey everyone, it's Nikki, and thanks so much for tuning back into my channel. Well, I've been another naughty girl, so I am doing another Sephora haul. Ooh, ouch, yeah. Well, you know, the Sephora VIB sale went on entirely too long, and what happened is, after I hit the store the first time with my sister for the VIB Rouge event, I then went home and realized I needed, um, yeah, some more stuff. <laughs> ah! So, anywho, actually, I did have good reason. When I went to the store um, the first time for the VIB Rouge sale event, I actually primarily used a gift card that a friend had gotten me and very little of my own money. So, that is how I'm justifying this. I also actually returned an item. I returned that Marc Jacobs palette. I'm going to shed a little tear because it was beautiful. It was that beautiful Lolita eyeshadow palette. It was gorgeous. Here's the problem. I'm 46 years old and a lot of those shadows were very um, glittery. That doesn't blend well with my um, huh, aging eyelids. So what I found was the glitter in the shadows was kind of maximizing any creepy areas that I had. So I actually exchanged the Marc Jacob palette for a palette that is matte shadows and I'm really excited about so I'll share that with you. So let me tell you what I have in here. I have some skincare items, I have some beauty items, and I have a couple of little gifts. So um, let me just jump in and show you what I got. First I want to talk about what I exchanged the Marc Jacobs palette for. Um, like I said, that palette had primarily glittery shadows so I exchanged it for another fabulous palette that has all matte shadows and it is the Kat Von D shade and light palette and I have oh my goodness I'm not gonna lie I busted in yeah mama busted in a couple days ago and I have been using this but oh my goodness okay so this is the shadow palette it had just come out um I guess about two weeks ago so let me show you the colors because they they be to die for folks hello oh my goodness, look at those. <laughs> Beautiful. They're actually stunning. They're all matte. They're very buttery. Let me swatch a few for you here. Let's do this one. And we'll do this one. And we'll do this one. So here are three of my favorite colors. Here are three swatches of three of my favorite colors. A nice warm kind of peanut buttery color, a warmer um, bronzy shade, and then a cooler uh, brown uh, that's perfect. All right, so I have found those shadows to be wonderful. They're very buttery soft, they're very blendable. The palette even comes with this, which gives you some eye looks, which I think is fabulous if you need a little inspiration. And I've been really, really happy with it. So I've used it about a week. I'm wearing it today. Um, so I, you know, just, hey, I got more shadows for less money. Wow! <laughs> so there you go. All right. The next item I got is a skincare item from a line that is new to Sephora and new to me. It's called Kane and Austin, and it's from Craig Austin MD Dermatology in New York. And once again, I, I love me some skincare. So I always try and research the latest products that are out, the most effective products, and this one kept coming up. And then I noticed that it was recently added to Sephora. So I was super excited. I got this one. This particular product is called the Kane and Austin Miracle Pad. Basically, it says it results are comparable to a 20% glycolic clinic peel. So I'm all excited about that. The reviews were pretty amazing when I looked up this product. It says it is an intensive facial treatment to reduce fine lines and wrinkles in large pores and the appearance of age spots. Now there's 60 peels in here. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I just got this, so I have not tried this yet. Um, mm, smells good, and it's just these pre-soaked peel pads. Now the directions say to use them twice a day. At first, just once a day, but um, I really like to use things like this at night. I don't like to use it in the morning. I don't think it's as effective, so I will probably use this at night. But on the back it says it's clinically proven to experience up to a 60% reduction in fine lines and wrinkles. Okay. 
Uh, experience up to a 109% increase in luminosity. And experience up to a 91% reduction in pore size in a clinical test over 28 days. Okay. So there you have it. I will keep you posted on this. I'm really excited to try it though. Okay, the next item I got has been heavily, heavily, heavily buzzed about in the YouTube community. So I thought I would just jump on that bandwagon because why not? The product I'm talking about is the Cover Effects Custom Cover Drops. And this is kind of a new idea. And what it is, is you can customize your coverage of your foundation. These are pure pigment drops. So you put the drops in whatever you want and it customizes that product for you. You can add it to a primer, you can add it to your sunscreen, you can add it to a foundation already, you can add it to a BB cream, and it adds the perfect coverage and the perfect color for you. And because you can drop as many drops as you want, it is supposed to be just totally customizable. Now, I went to Sephora first. I went to Sephora last week and I requested a couple samples of these drops in different colors because I didn't know what was going to work for me. I ended up choosing after the sample the N25. Here's what it looks like. It's got the little stopper, the little dropper, so you can drop as many drops as you want to into whatever product you're going to mix it with. Currently, I've been mixing it with my um, moisturizer, my Embryolease moisturizer, and it has been phenomenal. Um, I'm still using the sample. I actually haven't, per haven't even opened this one yet to use it, but I'm still using the sample. I'm wearing it today. Um, I love it. It lasts all day, and... Yeah, it gives the perfect coverage. It feels like skin. Um, if you'd like a more thorough review on this where I put it on in the morning and like you see my skin without makeup, which, hello, it's a very scary thing. So if you do request this, make sure you're ready for it because mama ain't no um, I woke up like this type of girl. It's scary. When you take a look at me without makeup, Oh girl, you're gonna know I woke up like that because it's not, it's not pretty. I would be happy to do a application of this um, on camera so you can see the effect starting from my bare skin to when I actually use the product. You can see the difference. So let me know if, in the comments box down below if you'd be interested in that. So there you have it. But so far I'm in love with it, honestly. Okay, the next product I got was is kind of another skincare slash makeup product. This is the Clarins Eclat Minute um, Instant Light Radiant <laughs> Instant Light Radiance Boosting Complexion Base. Man, that's a mouthful! But basically, what it is, it says it's part makeup, part skincare. This rich, fluid texture with Catafray. Mm hmm. Catafray. Catafray plant extracts, whatever, naturally boosts skin's radiance throughout the day and hydrates. High Lumatech pigments enhance radiance and brighten shadowy areas to revive and illuminate your skin day after day. Can be worn alone or under foundation. Now, I have not used this yet. I'm super excited to use it. I got the color. There's two colors. I got the color 01 Rose. The other one is a little more um, golden or yellow based, but um, I'm super excited to try this. I will keep you updated. Let me know if you want to see this as well. I'm not wearing it because I haven't even used it yet. So um, let me know if you want to see a more in-depth review on this particular product, but I've heard great things about it. I'm all about the luminosity and putting that youthful glow back in my skin whatever way I can. The next product I got, I'm not going to lie, it's a wish list item. I didn't need it, but boy, girl, did I want it. Mm -hmm. It is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush. Mm -hmm. We've all seen these. I got the color Luminous Flush. I opened this for the first time this morning. Not gonna lie, gonna just give it to you straight, girls, but mm -hmm. here's the product. Classy! So pretty. So pretty. Um, you know, Hourglass products, just the packaging's very classy. And wait for it, wait for it, Bam! Bam! That's a luminous flush, girls! I'm wearing it today, and it literally gives just the parties look low to your cheeks. Just like the, um, you know, I've been exercising, or I've been getting a little, little funky donkey with my honey, and, um, 
kissing and whatnot, and it just gave me this beautiful natural flush. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm wearing this today. So glad I got it. So glad I got it. It's kind of a rosy, goldy, whatever. I don't know. I don't know. It's this color, but I like it a lot. Okay? So, yes, super glad I bit the bullet and bought this baby. I'm down to the um, last two items here. These are just little goodies that I got. Um, Mother's Day's coming up, so I picked up a couple goodies for my sister. The first one is the Soap and Glory Righteous Butter. This is their body butter. I got the little small size. As you may or may not know, Soap and Glory is going bye-bye from Sephora. It makes me really sad because I think they're the most fun products ever and they smell to die for. Let me just tell you, they smell to die for. So basically all of these products are between 40 and 50% off right now if you can get them if they're still left. So I picked this up. It's delish. Oh my gosh. It's got like a grapefruit and lime scent. Very, very good and creamy. Yum. The next product I got, I actually got two of these. I got one for me and one for my sister. It's uh, from Tony Moly and it's uh, a Korean company, but they have great little products and their packaging Mm, how cute is that? So anyways, it's a little, um, you know, it's a little lip balm. And I got the one in honey flavor. Holy smokes. Like if you were to just break open a honeycomb and put that little honey on your lips, mm -hmm, that's what it smells like. And it's super, um, super moisturizing it smells to die for so just a little treat I thought um, would be great for my bedside table and I got another one for my sister so there you go that's my quick little Sephora haul number two naughty naughty Nikki I know but um, I didn't buy everything for myself there was a gift or two in there so yay raw so anyways if you have any questions about some of the items I mentioned or you want to see a more thorough review leave that in the comments down below and I will see you guys soon in the next video. Oh, don't forget to like this video. If you found anything about it interesting or entertaining, please subscribe to my channel. I've got some awesome giveaways coming up, including things like these. These are gorgeous little tassel um, necklaces from my Adorn Jewelry line. I'm gonna be giving away one of those in my video kicking off the month of May. So stay tuned for that, but you do have to be a subscriber to win. So click, click, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Bye-bye, everyone. Thanks so much. Wink.